the rise of AI police, China's next level security. China's AI powered security force is real and it is here now. Shenzhen has officially placed humanoid robots for police patrols. This comes as a bold step in the involvement of robots and law enforcement. Engine AI, a rapidly growing Chinese robotics startup, has showcased its up PM01 humanoid robot, which has been seen patrolling the streets side by side with police officers. The project, supported by the government, aims to join law enforcement and artificial intelligence, bringing the country a step closer to an automated security system. While some view this as a groundbreaking innovation, others are thinking of comparisons to Robocop, questioning whether this is an advancement or a step towards a dystopian world. Meet China's AI powered Robocop, the PM01. Engine AI's PM01 is not your typical humanoid robot. It's made for real world applications, and its features are stunning in the evolving AI landscape. Mobility moves at speeds of two meters per second, which is fast enough for active patrols. Height and weight stands at 1.38 meters, 4.5 feet, and weighs 40 kilograms, 88 pounds, making it much lighter than full-sized humanoid robots. Advanced perception uses an Intel RealSense depth camera for greater visual processing and facial recognition durability and customization. It is built with an aluminum alloy exoskeleton and dual chip architecture. Intel N97 plus Nvidia Jetson or in processors. The PM01 is part of China's push to support humanoid robots in public service with the country in AI powered security technology. From science fiction to reality, how engine AI is changing robotics. Engine AI is one of China's fastest growing robotics firms, founded by Xiao Tongyang, a lead at Xpeng Robotics. After securing early stage funding, the company introduced its humanoid, the SEE-1, thus setting a new standard in bipedal locomotion. Unlike traditional pre-programmed robots, Engine AI's humanoids adapt through reinforcement learning, trained in NVIDIA's Isaac simulator before being placed in real world environments. The PM01, a more affordable model priced a little under $14,000, is made for development and research applications. Its pricing is affordable as compared to competitors like Unitree's G1. This makes it one of the most accessible humanoid robots on the market. What people are saying. Public reaction to Shenzhen's AI police is mixed. Tech enthusiasts are loving the innovation. China is leading the AI revolution. Soon, robots will handle all repetitive tasks, allowing police to focus on real crime. Others compare it to Hollywood movies. This is literally Robocop in real life. How long before these robots are armed? However, critics are worried about surveillance. This isn't about security. It's about control. AI-powered patrols could mean 24-7 tracking of civilians. The debate causes a rise in questions about AI and law enforcement. Is this the future or are we moving toward a machine-controlled state? How PM01 compares to other Chinese police robots. Shenzhen has been experimenting with robotics in public safety for years. For example, 2016, Anbot, the first Chinese AI security robot, was used for airport patrols and had unique self-charging capabilities. RTGG spheres, these are autonomous rolling robots armed with tear gas launchers and non-lethal weapons, which are deployed in Wenzhou commercial districts. AI security robots are being used in China more than anywhere else and the PM01 is a step towards full robotic law enforcement. Will China's robotic police force give them a big advantage, or will the US catch up before AI law enforcement becomes the norm? Are we watching a sci-fi dystopia unfold? 
if RoboCop and Minority Report taught us anything, it's that AI in law enforcement comes with huge ethical issues. On one hand, AI-powered police robots could reduce crime, improve security, and take care of dangerous tasks that put human police at risk. But on the other hand, AI law enforcement could mean automated ticketing, 24-7 surveillance, and a system where AI, not humans, decides justice. The world needs to ask, who controls AI-powered police? Could these policies lead to an increase in surveillance and loss of freedom? While Shenzhen's humanoid cops aren't carrying weapons, yet it's clear that AI policing is no longer just an idea. By 2030, we may look back and realize that China's first RoboCop patrols were just the beginning. The question is, are we ready for what comes next? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you want to stay in tune with the humanoid revolution, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications.